WLHS Studios in Lodi, Wisconsin. It's What's Up With That? With your host, Brian Cole. Brian's guests will include State Senator Mark Miller. And Lodi EMT, Linda Bremer. And now, here's your host, Brian Cole. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the very first edition of WLHS Productions' n- new talk show, What's Up With That? Uh, I'm Brian Cole, and joining me today for interviews will be Senator Mark Miller and Lodi EMT, Linda Bremer. So without further ado, let's give a nice round of applause to my very first guest, Senator Mark Miller. Hi, Mark. Hi, Brian. How's it going? Good. Good. It's good. All right. Well, first of all, how did you become interested in politics and public service? Right. It's interesting you should ask. I first ran for office when I was in high school. <laughs> ran for a class officer and was elected class president as a senior like you are. And... Um, and then in the, in the military, I was, I was uh, an officer. And uh, when uh, my mother, it turns out, uh, when I was a college student, ran for the state assembly, Midge Miller, a rather well-known name in Madison politics, and um, was a, a real inspiration for me in terms of what you can accomplish in the elected public office. And so as my uh, children became adults, I ran for public office, was first elected to the county board, then to the state assembly, and now state senator from the 16th district, which includes Lodi. So, um, what plans would you propose to change the funding process for public education in Wisconsin? Well, uh, Brian, that's a good question. I am not planning to introduce any plans to change public education, but it's something that we need to do. Um, the, the general principle behind our current funding system is a good one, which is that we try to balance school districts so that there's a, a, a roughly the same amount of financial resources for every student in the state, regardless of whether they're in a poor district or in a wealthy district. Um, that system has needs some reform. Mm-hmm. And the challenge with reforming the funding system is, is that whenever you change it, there will be school districts that come out better than they are now and some that come out not so not as well as they come out now and so that ca- creates a real tension um, but we do need to reform it we do, we not everybody not every student in the state is getting a, um, a fair and equal education mm-hmm. okay well speaking of um, issues and whatnot uh, what can the state legislature do about the rising cost of gas well we can't do much about the rising cost of gas that's part of an international market right um, but the only thing that the, the state can do is to, um, is to adjust the taxes that are mm-hmm. on the, on the, that uh, people pay on the gas. Now the taxes, fuel taxes, are used to, to construct roads and mm-hmm. maintain bridges uh, and other infrastructure, transportation infrastructure. So if we, re- if we re- remove that tax, we won't have the money to keep the roads up. Mm-hmm. And that includes plowing. And certainly, no, we needed to have a lot of plowing this winter. The um, the other thing we could do is we could raise the taxes, mm-hmm. and thereby perhaps discourage consumption. Um, and there's many people who feel that that might be the better public policy. But right now, the high cost of gasoline is really hurting individuals' pocketbooks. Mm-hmm. And so, I think it would be a very difficult political proposition yeah. to actually raise uh, gasoline taxes. Okay. Um, what proposals is the state legislature considering to improve the Wisconsin environment? <laughs> <laughs> well, Brian, I, I have been privileged this past session, in this session of the legislature, to be the chair of the Senate Environment and Natural Resources Committee. Wow. And uh, we, uh, we took a, up a number of environmental bills I think the most significant one, the one people have heard about the most, is the Great Lakes Compact. Um, That passed through the Senate um, back in February, 
and didn't make it through the assembly. It was late in the session. Uh, and this, there are members in the assembly that had some concerns about the bill that was passed in the Senate. Mm -hmm. But we have, since the close of the legislature, continued to negotiate. The governor called a special session. And this week, I expect that we'll vote and pass the Great Lakes Compact, and the governor will sign it shortly thereafter. That will make Wisconsin the fifth state of the eight states in the Great Lakes that are required to ratify the compact in order for it to have, uh, be considered for federal law. Mm -hmm. Some of the other bills that we've considered in past is something that I've been working on for a long time, have never been able to get passed, but this year passed in the state senate, is something called um, electronic recycling. As you know, our, our lives today are, are full of electronic devices, mm -hmm. uh, computers, cell phones, personal uh, PDAs, um, all kinds of electronic devices. They just seem to proliferate. Mm -hmm. and, and these electronic devices contain some very valuable materials like gold and silver and platinum that contain some highly toxic materials. There's yeah. no reason we should be putting both valuable and toxic materials into our landfills. Mm -hmm. So what I propose is that the manufacturers take responsibility for recycling their products at the, when they're disposed of. Mm -hmm. Another bill um, uh, that has, um, that I've introduced along with Senator Black has been the Wisconsin Safe Climate Act, which mm -hmm. basically establishes carbon emission and greenhouse gas emission caps for the state of Wisconsin, so that if the bill passes, we would be on the road to um, Wisconsin becoming responsible for reducing its greenhouse gas contributions. Mm -hmm. So those are some of the things that are either have been considered or on the agenda. Mm -hmm. That's good. A lot of those go through. I hope so. Yeah. Um, well, speaking of like passing bills, so. How do how does state legislation pass through all these? Like, oh, yeah, support? Wisconsin is like every other state in the union except mm -hmm. Nebraska, uh, in that we're patterned we're patterned after the, the same system that we use for our national government. We mm -hmm. have two houses, the Senate and the Assembly, and in order for a bill to become a law, it has to pass the bill. The law has to pass both houses in identical form and then be signed by the governor. Mm -hmm. Um, and the process through each house is the bill's introduced, it's given a bill number, it's assigned to a committee. Committee chair has very, has very strong power and makes, can make the decision whether or not to hold a hearing on that bill and whether or not to hold a vote on that bill for uh, recommendation to that house for passage. Mm -hmm. If the committee votes it out, then it goes to a, a, another committee which is responsible for scheduling bills. And the bill could just be stay in that committee, or it could be scheduled for a vote. And if it's voted out, then it has to go over to the other house in the same process. Right. Okay. Well, you recently passed a comprehensive bill, one that you wrote yourself regarding the state budget. A big part of that bill deals with health care. How did that come about, and how do you feel about universal health care? Uh, Brian, the, one of the reasons I ran for public office be, is because part of my life um, before running for pu public office was as an employer. Mm -hmm. And even then, back in the 70s, it was, I found it very challenging for my small business to provide health insurance for the, my employees. And I felt very uncomfortable with the quality of the health insurance that my employees had it was directly related to my success in the business. We had a bad year. It was very difficult, and I might have to cut back on some of that health insurance. Mm -hmm. uh, and if I had a good year, I could do more. But it was, just, it was, it was completely dependent. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, th I just felt in a civilized society that should not be the case. Right. Is that all of us should have access to health care, and, and so that was one of the reasons I ran for public office was because I believe in universal health insurance. Mm -hmm. Every person in our, in this case, state, should have access to the same kind of health insurance that I have as a state legislator. Yeah. And it, it's not a perfect uh, benefit, but it is very good. It's better than most people have. Yeah. And so. Uh, we worked, a number of us worked in a task force to put together a plan. It's called Healthy Wisconsin. Uh, it's a very good plan. We would be able to provide health insurance for every single Wisconsin resident that is a, as good as what we get as legislators, and yet the total cost would be $2 billion less than what we currently pay for a private system. Wow. That's great. Um, so what are some ways citizens and communities can get involved to bring about change in the 16th Senate district and the state in general. You, you know, we all have a role. This is a democracy.